Well, good evening, everybody, and welcome along to another video. And uh, the day's finally arrived. The day when Stan the Scram goes down to Wales for his summer holiday. Uh, so today's the uh, 19th of April, 2024, and it's uh, it's 6:42 in the evening. Uh, and we're on our way. We're on our way over to the uh, to the west coast, uh, where um, Stan's going to spend the summer. Uh, the plan was to come down, was to take it down two weeks ago over Easter, but the weather's been so atrocious, constant rain, that uh, it didn't materialise over Easter, and. Uh, it looks like we've finally got a day, or a couple of days, of fine weather, according to the forecast. And so, uh, I'm heading off. Uh, Sam's gone down in the car, while we're meeting her down there. And uh, I was hoping to get away about half four, but we had a, uh, a work meeting that started at four o'clock and finished at six o'clock. Six, four o'clock meeting on a Friday. Who does that? Who does that? Anyway, so that's put me two hours behind, so it's probably going to be, so it's usually about a three hour ride over to here, so it's going to be uh, probably half past nine before I get there. So uh, yeah, some of the journey is going to be in the dark. Uh, yeah, so um, I spend uh, mostly every other weekend and uh, bank holidays and stuff over over on the coast um, so I'm going to have to bike down there and on fine, fine days I can get out and do some riding um, I'm looking forward to that I've been planning it for since last year and originally I'd, uh, I, was, I was buying the uh, Hunter to take over here uh, but thinking about it and thinking what's probably the best bike for what I want to do over there uh, decided ultimately that the Scram was going to be the bike to go over so we'll be heading through some uh, Welsh countryside in the dark with uh, one candle light of headlight power <laughs> I've got to fit uh, I've got to fit some spotlights on this bike the same as I put on the Hunter uh, I should have probably done it before I come over here, but I, I probably won't be using it over here in the dark, to be fair. I'm going to be daytime riding, so it doesn't really matter. It's just that uh, tonight some of the journey is going to be uh, in quite uh, dimmed lights, let's put it that way. I'm in Stourbridge now, heading over, so we're going Bridge North up to... Uh, Wush Wenlock, past Wush Wenlock up to uh, join the A5 near Shrewsbury. I, uh, there's no point in me going a cross country route tonight. Because it's, it's, it's going to be dark in probably half an hour, three quarters of an hour. So I'm, uh, I'm stick to the, to, the, to the main roads tonight. Um, yeah, so it's going to be nice having the bike down here. I want to do a lot of exploring. Uh, in North Wales, uh, North and Central Wales. Central Wales is uh, going to be a big one for me because I've got family there. My dad's from that area, uh, so it's the ancestral uh, home of the family on my dad's side. So uh, I want to get, I want to explore it, get to know it, find some of the places where the ancestors lived and farmed worked as farmers and farm labourers originally I think very a few generations back but farmers ultimately so I want to uh, spend some time exploring that so that's one of the things I want to do while I've got the bike over here and it's just to have it available really it's loads of times when I've got up and it's been a nice day and oh, I'd love to go out on the bike and unfortunately it's uh, I've not had one there and I've got myself into the fortunate position where I can have one there now. So uh, it's going to be the scram. So weather-wise, it's it's nice, but it's going cold now. 
bit wind, slightly windy. Uh, I think the west wind's coming from the west, so uh, I'm going to be going into the wind. Uh, so I'd imagine I'll be pretty cold when I get there. But it's all part of the experience. Um, yeah, a bit annoying being two hours behind on a Friday. Um, but it is what it is. So, uh, yeah, I'm probably not going to get that much of the journey because it's going to get dark. I'll try the uh, Osmo Action 4 out in low light. So, um, uh, if there's any sort of ambient light about when we get further into this journey, we'll have a look. But other than that, I'll, uh, I'll let things roll. I'm going to let the camera roll and uh, come back uh, as we get through the journey. Now in terms of uh, storing the bike over here, uh, where we're going, I bought a uh, sort of Oxford heavy duty cover for it, for uh, taking a uh, an optimate charger down here and one of the key things I've got to do because it's a very salty uh, salty air is, uh, close to the sea is to uh, is to keep the uh, the sea air and uh, salt off it really and I think the Oxford uh, the Oxford grain cover will do that I've got some straps to get it strapped down because uh, it will be outdoors very in a secure environment um, so yeah, so strapping it down and uh, just generally uh, keeping it maintained while we're over here. The uh, thorough cleaning regime as always. Yeah, so I've got a set of gear, this jacket I'll be leaving over here, this helmet I'll be leaving over there. Uh, uh, my trousers, my jeans, I'll be leaving them there. Uh, so I, I plan to have a full set of gear left over there. These gloves are probably going to go home uh, autumn over the night. This is a little bit chilly. So, uh, my shorty gloves are not really suitable for this trip, this journey. But uh, Other than that, we'll be fine. It's just uh, really getting set up. Um, so the plan is to take it over now. So I'm hoping to go a bit earlier, but not to be because of the weather. So middle of April, uh, back October time, I would say, depending on the weather. Uh, but uh, have it here, have it over there for the uh, all of the summer months. And here we go into direct. Uh, Low sunlight now. Squid tight. I've done over 2,000 miles on this bike now. So it's, uh, it's well run in. It runs beautifully. Really pleased with how it's, uh, how it's loosened up. And it does run lovely. And we're over here doing uh, ride outs and any videos with them. You'll probably only be listening to me for the most part because I haven't got any comms with this setup. So it'll be just me. And I haven't got my cardo on this helmet, so there'll be no phone calls to Paul. It is going to be just me. But I'll do my best to try and keep uh, keep it interesting. Nothing like a lovely evening ride out. Uh, sort of evening ride outs, they're going to be starting up pretty soon as well. 
all's already planned a few. I'm looking forward to them. A lot of wind. Not sure how the sound's going to be with, uh, with this much wind. I hope it's okay. On this setup, I've got the uh, got the DJI Wireless Mic 2 uh, linked to the DJI Osmo Action 4 by Bluetooth. So, um, and into the uh, transmitter is plugged the uh, Purple Panda microphone, complete with a dead cat. So. Uh, Use an experiment to make sure I've got the sound set up uh, exactly right on this uh, on this helmet setup. Yeah, definitely going to be going into the wind for the majority of this ride, I think. And we'll stop and fill up with fuel at uh, the Shell Garage in Bridge North. Over the River Seven. Beautiful. And under the Seven Valley Railway. Crikey. That's it, you can see it again now. Much Wenlock. Must arrive in a much Wenlock. Wouldn't mind living here. Sort of in reasonable distance from home, I think. Where? I mean, reasonable distance to the kids and the grandkids. So, uh, yeah, if I was going to move out anywhere. I definitely consider much Wenlock. I'm stuck to be moved. I could sneak through there, but I'm not going to. That's a nice ride. Done that before a few times. We'll just pass the uh, the old service station in a second on the left. The petrol pumps have been uh, given a coat of paint. Here they are. Look at that. Lovely. Oh Christ, I see a thing. There we go. Yeah, given a coat of paint. So, uh, up and through Wenlock Edge now. Down the slope we go. Into the sun again. What better way to spend a Friday evening, eh? Don't have a gear. Absolutely brilliant. Gotta slow down because that sun's gonna get me any. Heading into Wales now, and the sun's sinking ever lower in the sky. Just left the A5, I oh, know we're on the A458, I think. Yeah, 458. Well, let's get stuck into this lane. Let's 
741. Making a steady progress. The old Dinky's Diner on the right. Used to be open pretty much around the clock. I think it closes quite a lot nowadays. I think it's open now. No. Yeah. A few years back it was a you could get a two o'clock in the morning you could get a uh, the burger there. Right. So we're uh, well and truly into Wales now. This is Welsh Pool. My dad lived for a spell in Welsh Pool when he was young. So yeah, had a flat here by all accounts. I wonder where it was. Just had my one of his uh, many homes. <laughs> yeah, so I just heading through Welshpool now. On then we're pretty up, pretty much on the uh, follow our nose then, all the way to Barmouth. Now normally, when we're in the car, we would be pulling up here in a minute and. Uh, having fish and chips from that fish shop there, fish and chip shop, and uh, they are glorious, so if you're in Welsh Pool, that chip shop there, highly recommended, highly recommended. So I'm foregoing fish and chips tonight, um, I think it's going to be beans on toast when I get there, so it's two minutes past eight now. I think we're looking quarter past nine arrival. I can't believe how well this bike is riding now. Now, now the running in is pretty much done. Really does ride beautifully. So pleased, I couldn't be more pleased with it to be honest. Just goes to show you don't need big bikes to have a lot of fun. This one gives me fuel economy. Does pretty much everything I want it to do. And uh, it didn't cost me an arm and a leg. Lovely and wonderful. Riding into the sunset. Fan dabby blooming dozy. Some via Caronion down there. Beautiful. And the end of the line for the little narrow gauge railway that we uh, saw the start of in Welshpool. Oh, this lovely bit of road here now. See how long the battery holds out. Following the river, Karainyan. Pretty cold now, to be honest. Seventy-one miles in. It's about a hundred and fifteen miles a journey. About Forty-five miles to go. Hoping I'm going to have this road to myself for the rest of the journey. Lovely coloured sky ahead. Loving, brilliant. Wonderful. Cold, but wonderful. Nothing behind me, nothing in front of me. Fantastic. 
over to the left here behind those uh, hills is uh, one of the places uh, Sting Stigwan Sting Sting Stigwan I think it's called no I can't remember but um, is where my uh, great 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 I think that's about the right number of greats uh, grandfather grandparents uh, worked the land and uh, we will be going and exploring that at some stage that was Lanerville Lanerville we just passed through and it's uh, I love it when you're coming over here and riding these roads well, knowing that uh, for you know hundreds of years potentially your ancestors have uh, have done this uh, you know have seen the same landscape and here's me nearly a quarter of the way through the 21st century coming back and uh, visiting their uh, their environment, their homes. I think this is in some ways why I have a uh, I feel I have a connection with Wales. Just in rural Wales, this mid Wales area. It's, uh, I just feel part of the place. Feels like home to me. Suicide Alley for Pheasants, this bit of road here. But yeah. They do love to run across. Fingers crossed, no, none decide to run across this evening. I think my ETA of 9.15 is about right. Looking forward to a glass of gin and tonic. Yeah, relax and wind a gin and tonic. And then... Uh, off to bed and uh, see what tomorrow brings. I may do a little little round trip tomorrow. Got an idea in mind that may take in just heading up towards Harlick and doing a loop. So what's this space on that one? Right. We're heading up Dinas now. Dinas Mildway. 89.5 miles in and 20 25 miles to go right so we're up and about to come down the other side of Dennis now hopefully it might be uh, a bit of a nice view with the uh, sun setting and some still some redness and orange in the sky. Have a look. Oh, it's lovely. Really nice. Five miles, about fifteen miles to go. Yeah, 
Okay, down towards Dog Athlete now. Whoa, fantastic. Cold, but flipping fantastic. Whoa. Right. Last leg of the journey now. Get ourselves through here. What a great main beam. Dipped is uh, actually better, I think. Only down in Bournemouth now. Bridge just coming into view. Doubt uh, we'll see anything at this darkness. Here we go. Oh, the red light on the uh, swing section of the bridge. Great journey. Just cold. Other than that, and I could have been here two hours ago. Oh, I love the sound. Here we go. Town's quiet tonight. Very quiet. So, as we uh, depart the town, I shall bid you a second farewell, 
and uh, say thanks for coming along. Hope you enjoyed it, and hopefully see you again soon for another video. Have a great weekend and to ride a bit. Mm -hmm.